What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are joined here with Guy and we will be featuring his 1936 Morris 8. So Guy, before we get to the good stuff, why don't you tell us a little bit about the car? Well, the car comes from England. It was made by a company Morris uh, Cars <clears throat> and it was made in 1936. They called it a Morris 8. Morris 8. And what engine did it come with? came with a little three-cylinder wind-up engine, had a crank handle, you wind the engine up to start it. Yes. And it had eight horsepower, that's why it was called a Morris 8. Did it have the old school indicators? Yes, it did. In the Where doors is it now? There. They're on the side there, but I haven't finished them. So what setup are you running on your car? Well, the motor is now a Toyota Supra 1J, straight six turbocharged. Got a bigger turbo. GT30 It's got 1000 cc injectors running around 50% ethanol 50% fuel Ethanol, yes Yeah, ethanol to give it more power Nice <laughs> And when I had it on the dyno it's pushing out 235 horsepower on the back wheels and 430 newton meters of torque So guy, I can't wait to get a ride in this car and uh, to be able to fuel power that is in this car but before we get to that yeah. let's talk about the restoration that you have done to the car well during the restoration it took me about you know, six years just to get the body and the chassis and everything right on it because it was pretty rusted the guy that had it before he took the body off put it on the sand got all rusted underneath yes. to rebuild the whole body Actually, underneath and that yeah <laughs> some people and so it took me a long time to get the body and the chassis and everything right. So at the moment, there's no body putty on the car, it's just bare metal. I haven't put any filler on it or sprayed it or anything. That's my last thing to do to finish off the restoration is to spray it like I want it. But at the moment, I've just got all the running gear right and the going and the braking and everything to make it run right. So what have you done in the exterior of the car? On the exterior, it's got from the motor R21 Crusader gearbox, it's got a Ford Mustang, limited slip diff in the back, all cut down shorter. I've got uh, BMW 5 Series brakes in the front, I've got fully adjustable coilovers and suspension in the front and in the back. I can alter the diff if I want to, I can pull the diff to one side or the other side in case it pulls skew at the drag racing. Other than that, and BMW E36 M3 wheels. And it's got BMW um, replicas wheels on it, running 245s at the back and 205s in the front. Alright, and what have you done in the interior of the car? The interior, I put racing seats in, racing safety belts. I had to move the brakes from the one side, from the driver's side, I had to move the brake booster to the passenger side. And to do the whole conversion of the brake uh, levers and everything to bring the brakes across. Um, and I redid all the padding and all that. I haven't finished the roof in the car. The car's got to have a tarpaulin on the roof that opens up in its day. It did open up, but I haven't finished that yet. So I guess it's time to take it for yeah, a drive. I guess it is, Peter. <laughs> all right.
crazy. Crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> going to be doing it for this video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like this video let's get as many likes as possible